Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will talk about Gaucher disease. Now first, what is Gaucher disease? It is a genetic disorder where fat laden Gaucher cells build up in the areas like spleen, liver and bone marrow. It is one of the most common lysosomal storage disorder. Now what causes Gaucher disease? It is caused by low level of glucocerebrosidase an enzyme that breaks down a fatty chemical in the body called glucocerebroside. Now Gaucher cells are normal scavenger cells called macrophages that become full of unprocessed glucocerebroside. Now Gaucher cells accumulate primarily in the spleen, liver and bone marrow causing organ inflammation and dysfunction. Now the prevalence of Gaucher disease. This can affect anyone occurring in up to 1 in 40,000 live birth in general population. It is more common among Jews of Ashkenazi descent occurring in approximately 1 in 450 within this population. Now as many as 1 in 10 may carry the mutated gene responsible for the Gaucher disease. Now how is Gaucher disease inherited? It is an autosomal recessive disorder that means a person must receive the Gaucher gene from both parents in order to have the disease. Most genes exist in pair, with one coming from the mother and the other from the father. When one Gaucher gene in the pair is abnormal, the child is asymptomatic carrier, who can pass that abnormal gene to his or her children. Now, when both genes in the pair are defective, a person will have Gaucher disease. When both parents are carrier, then each pregnancy has a 1 in 4 chance that the baby will be born with the Gaucher disease. Now, which genetic mutations are most severe? Scientists have identified more than 400 genetic mutations associated with this disease. Certain genetic mutations can cause more severe symptoms, but genetics alone do not determine disease severity. Here are some factors scientists have identified about genetic mutations associated with Gaucher disease. Having two copies of L444P mutation caused neurological symptoms and is related to Gaucher disease type 2 and 3. Patient with one copy of N370S mutation plus another mutation almost certainly will have Gaucher disease type 1. Now, patient with two copies of N370S mutation may have a milder form of the Gaucher disease. Now, how does Gaucher disease affect the body? The effects Gaucher disease can have on the body can vary widely from person to person. Some people experience severe Gaucher disease symptoms while others have none at all. Now, what are the symptoms of Gaucher disease? Gaucher disease symptoms involving the blood and the organs include Now the first one is enlarged spleen and liver When Gaucher cells build up in the spleen and liver, these organs become enlarged and cause your belly to become swollen and painful Second is low platelet count A normally functioning spleen disposes of old blood cells A spleen enlarged by the Gaucher disease destroys the blood cells too rapidly including the platelets that are responsible for the clotting even after minor injuries Next is bleeding and clotting problems. With fewer platelets, patients with Gaucher disease can have bleeding issues. Low platelet count can cause problems like frequent nose bleed, gum bleeding, and easy bruising. Sometimes patients can have more serious gastrointestinal, urinary, gynecologic, and brain bleeding issues. And bleeding after delivering a baby is also common. Now next is anemia. Gaucher cells in the bone marrow reduces the production of the blood cells, and the spleen quickly destroys the blood cells the body does make. These processes can cause anemia or low level of red blood cells that carry the energy producing oxygen to all parts of the body. Now, patient can also become anemic for other reasons such as iron deficiency or vitamin B12 deficiency. Then is fatigue. Anemia causes fatigue and it is common for patients with Gaucher disease to experience excessive tiredness. However, not all fatigue in Gaucher disease is due to anemia. Then is lungs. Anemia can cause shortness of breath. In some cases, glucocerebroside may accumulate in the lungs, causing respiratory problems. Now, Gaucher disease symptoms affecting the bones, which are also common in these patients. These include bone pain and bone crisis. Patients often experience bone pain, including severe episodes called bone crisis, resulting from reduced blood flow to the bones. Next is bone infarction or avascular necrosis. This condition occurs when part of the bone tooth get enough oxygen, causing bone tissue to deteriorate and die. Now, bone infarction often lead to hip or shoulder problems, severe arthritis, and increased fracture risk. Next is osteopenia and osteoporosis. 
Gaucher disease causes loss of calcium and mineral content in the bones in male and female patients of all ages. Smoking, excessive alcohol use, lack of physical activity, and certain medication can add to the risk of osteoporosis in these patients with Gaucher disease. Then is the spontaneous fracture. Osteopenia or bone loss and osteoporosis weaken the bones, making them more likely to break. Bone fractures in patients with Gaucher disease can occur even without trauma. Then is joint pain, arthritis, and joint damage. It is common for patients with Gaucher disease to experience joint pain. Gaucher disease can cause severe arthritis and bone damage, which can be permanent if the disease is untreated. Now the neurological signs and symptoms of the Gaucher disease. Neurological that is brain stem symptoms and signs of the Gaucher disease are present only in patients with type 2 and type 3. These Gaucher disease signs and symptoms can be severe and may cause early death. Now the types of Gaucher disease. Scientists divide Gaucher disease into three different types based on the presence or absence of early onset brain involvement and these include Gaucher disease type 1. It is the most common form of the disease in the western countries make up roughly 95% of patients there. Now symptoms include spleen and liver enlargement, bone problems and fatigue. Brain development is normal. Next is Gaucher disease type 2. It is also called acute infantile neuropathic Gaucher disease. It has the earliest onset of all the Gaucher disease types. Symptoms first become apparent within the first 3 to 6 months of life. It is fatal, usually causing death before 2 years of age. Now, the signs and symptoms include early onset brain damage that is severe and rapidly worsening. Other signs include poor development, seizures, spasticity, jerking movements, poor ability to suck and swallow, and large liver and spleen. Due to their shortened lifespan, babies with Gaucher disease type 2 do not survive long enough to develop other typical Gaucher disease symptoms like bone involvement. Now, some can be stillborn or have severe skin abnormalities. Then is Gaucher disease type 3. It is also known as chronic neuropathic Gaucher disease. It is the most common type worldwide. It is more common than type 1 in the Middle East, India, China and Pacific Rim. Now Gaucher disease type 3 has a later and more gradual onset compared with type 2. People with Gaucher disease type 3 may survive into adulthood with a wide variety of signs and symptoms. Major signs include seizures, skeletal irregularities, eye movement disorders, Cognitive problems, poor coordination, enlarged liver and spleen, respiratory problems, and blood disorders. Now, how is Gaucher disease diagnosed? First is enzyme test. Doctors use a standard blood test called beta glucosidase leukocyte test to check the enzyme activity and diagnose Gaucher disease. However, a pediatrician may notice an enlarged spleen, bleeding problems, and low platelet count without considering Gaucher disease. Many patients undergo invasive bone marrow testing before receiving a diagnosis as doctors try to rule out the leukemia and bone cancers. Next is genetic testing. Physicians use a blood or saliva sample for genetic testing. This DNA test indicates a patient's specific genetic mutation. And just one mutation indicates carrier status. Now who should get tested for the Gaucher disease? You should get tested if you experience symptoms of the Gaucher disease or if it runs in your family. Even if you do not have Gaucher disease, it may be helpful to know if you are a carrier. If one of your children has been diagnosed with Gaucher disease, then you should also have your other children tested. It is important for those at risk to get tested even if they do not have symptoms, since the disease can cause permanent damage if left untreated. Then is the bone marrow testing. A bone marrow test is not required to diagnose Gaucher disease. However, some doctors end up diagnosing Gaucher disease with this test while trying to rule out other blood disorders. When a person has the disease, the test will usually show fat laden Gaucher cells with an abnormal appearance. Now, how is Gaucher disease treated? Gaucher disease type 1, the most common form of Gaucher disease in the Western countries, is treatable. The non neurological symptoms associated with type 3, the most common form of the disease worldwide, are also treatable. For type 3 patients without severe or worsening brain involvement, Gaucher disease treatment can minimize signs and symptoms and improve overall health. Available treatment include enzyme replacement therapy (ERT) and substrate reduction therapy that is SRT. Now how does enzyme replacement therapy works? 
ERT balances low level of glucose cerebrosidase enzyme with a modified version of the enzyme. This enzyme breaks down glucose cerebroside, the fatty chemical that accumulate in the body of patient with Gaucher disease. This compensates for the missing enzyme which is why the therapy is called enzyme replacement. ERT involves receiving intravenous infusion about every two weeks, either at an infusion center or at home. ERT IV infusion usually take one to two hours. Now, enzyme replacement therapy drugs for Gaucher disease include imiglucirase, vilaglucirase alpha, and teleglucirase alpha. ERT is available for both children and adults, including pregnant and breastfeeding women. Now, ERT can be very expensive, totaling up to $200,000 or more each year. Now, second treatment option is substrate reduction therapy, that is SRT. It is a new treatment that works differently than ERT. It is an oral medication that decreases the amount of glucose cerebroside that the body makes, thus reducing the excess buildup. There are currently two approved oral SRT drugs for the patient with Gaucher disease, eliglustat and meglustat. Now, it is important that SRT is approved only for certain patients. This drug is not approved for using children or teens, pregnant or breastfeeding women, people with severe kidney or liver disease, and many people over age 65. To receive a liquid your metabolic profile, that is rate at which your body breaks down the drug, must fall within a certain range. Now the side effect of SRT. Certain SRT drugs may have unpleasant side effects such as diarrhea, stomach problems, and even neuropathy. Neuropathy causes numbness, pain, and weakness in areas like your hands and feet. Now the drug interactions. Some SRT drugs can interact with medication including antibiotics, cardiac drugs, and antidepressant. However, you can stop taking SRT to take antibiotics. Now other management for the Gaucher disease patient include regular physical examination and bone density screening, bone marrow transplant, surgery to remove all or part of your spleen, joint replacement surgery, and blood transfusions. Now it is important to know that there is currently no effective treatment for Gaucher disease type 2. Patients with Gaucher disease type 3 can receive the enzyme replacement therapy to address the symptoms not involving the brain like organ involvement and bone issues. ERT work well to control the complication that most commonly occur in patients with Gaucher disease type 1. However, the replacement therapy does not cross the blood-brain barrier which act to protect the brain but also filter out the medications. Therefore, enzyme replacement has little to no effect on the severe brain involvement which is associated with Gaucher disease type 2 and 3. Now, what is the outlook for people who have Gaucher disease? With treatment, people with Gaucher disease type 1 can manage the disorder and lead full lives. It is essential to work with a specialist and continue long-term treatments. Without treatment, Gaucher disease can cause permanent damage. Treatment can help people with Gaucher disease type 3 live to their 20s or 30s. But the treatment for Gaucher disease type 3 only addresses problems affecting the blood, organs and bones. It does not improve brain function or reverse neurological damage. Due to the severe brain damage, babies with Gaucher disease type 2 passes away within the first 3 years. Okay friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel.